uh, I want to continue the discussion about uh, freenomics and, and language learning on the internet and, and the, link, uh, the link model. Uh, I, I mentioned that uh, we feel that the, the, a lot of the cost that uh, traditionally has gone into language courses or buying lots of books and CDs has uh, or can be replaced by a different model which uses the internet, which uses uh, handy little iPods that we can have with us all the time. Uh, we feel that Link uh, is a very good way to go about learning languages. I mentioned that uh, the Freenomics model is one whereby a small number of elite users in fact pay for a large number of free users. But there's more to it and, and I want to talk about another piece uh, in, in that uh, picture and that is the role of podcasts. There has been an explosion in podcasting. Uh, I think thousands, tens of, tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of people use podcasts for language learning. Uh, it may very well be that many of you who are listening to me right now are people who are learning English as a second language and who use this podcast as um, content that uh, for whatever reason you find uh, worthwhile listening to and that by listening to it you are improving your English. Um, at Link, we have started producing podcasts in different languages. We have had our English Link podcast for quite a while, uh, EnglishLink.com, uh, but we have now started, uh, we some months ago, we started uh, French Link, Spanish Link, Russian Link, Japanese Link, Chinese Link, German Link, Portuguese Link, Italian Link. Uh, and the idea there is that uh, we put these out. Uh, people who are interested in learning those languages, Swedish link as well, uh, they download them. They can then come to link where we have a transcript. And by using the transcript and by using uh, link's functionality, they can put these podcasts to good use. Our model is somewhat different from some of the other language podcasts, which are more along the lines of a traditional lesson. Typically, the podcast, most language podcasters will provide the podcast free of charge and then they will charge for a worksheet, for a lesson, for explanations or possibly for the transcript. Our model is different. We have some beginner podcasts and we mix in with those uh, what I would call authentic, everyday native speakers speaking to each other type of podcasts. It, 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 what I want to explore at Link is the extent to which a language learner can start learning the language with real language rather than beginner language. We offer the beginner language. I think most learners seem to prefer the beginner language, but I think that it is quite possible to use uh, small doses of authentic language and Link and listen over and over again to this content and really improve in the language quite quickly. So, we are looking for people to help us because while I have uh, done some podcasts in Japanese and French and Spanish and German and Swedish, it's, or even Chinese, it's preferable that these podcasts be uh, conversations, occasionally the odd monologue, but it should involve native speakers. So we have put the word out and I buy this very podcast and, and, and YouTube, I want to put the word out people out there, why not join our community at Link? Uh, give us a podcast, five minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes is preferable. I think that's a good length. Talk to your husband, wife, friend, mother, child. Talk about what you do, whether you live in, in Buenos Aires or, uh, you know, Athens or Singapore, it doesn't matter. People are interested in hearing about other people in the world. Now this has started, we've received some very interesting Spanish language podcasts from people night clubbing in Buenos Aires or a Mexican and Chilean couple talking about the different foods that they like to cook. And we would like people to help us with podcasts and we are prepared to give points, because some of you may know that at Link a lot of the functions are free. However, in order to access our tutors or to have writing corrected, you need points. Well, we are willing to pay points. We're willing to pay a thousand points for a 10 minute podcast. So 
Uh, right now we're going to limit it to the languages that are available at, at Link, which is of course English, French, Spanish, German, Russian, Portuguese, Italian, uh, Chinese, Japanese. I don't think I left anything out. If you are a native speaker of any of those languages, if you have uh, an interest, um, people seem to either use Audacity, A-U-D-A-C-I-T-Y, as a recording software, or with a Mac, uh, Wiretap Studios is a very good piece of software. Audacity happens to be free. And uh, they produce these MP3 files. Uh, I think, generally speaking, a USB microphone gives better sound quality. Uh, it, often the sound quality will also depend on the sound card in your in your computer. We're quite happy to provide technical advice for people. But we would really like to collect, it's almost like a wiki, uh, we would like to collect the voices of people uh, wherever they are, talking about their lives or local events or things of interest or what makes their particular region attractive or, or, or what are special features or customs or uh, you know, the seasons of the year or whatever it might be. 10 minutes long, conversations are preferred, and we don't mind if you, whatever regional variant or accent you have in your language, we're very interested in, in receiving podcasts. As I say, we will compensate people with points for the podcasts that we use. You don't have to worry about transcribing them because we will transcribe them. So uh, we look forward to hearing from people who would like to uh, join our link series of podcasts. Uh, please let me know if you're interested. You can contact us at uh, customer service at link, L I N G Q dot com. Uh, I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.